Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I'm going to share with you how I created this card or specifically this this part of my card here and for that I use this stamp set Days to Remember which is in the annual current annual catalogue and it's a way of building up a calendar and as you can see we've got some days across the top there's a Monday through Sunday and a Sunday through Saturday and some pretty some nice greetings and then we've got the the days of the month and a few images here and then we've got this bit at the bottom this is the uh all the dates and you can see that someone very clever at stamping up has worked out how uh the days go as far as the week's concerned i'm not explaining it very well but if you look you know there's like two sec um, seconds of the month and two thirds of the month etc so when I first saw this stamp set I thought to myself oh I'm not uh, quite sure how that's going to work out but I've worked out a technique which works for me and I'm going to share it with you today so as I say this is the this is the card I created and I did a month and this is for um uh, uh, congratulations for someone's recent marriage and so as you can see I've got October and then this was the date that they got married and there's actually a little stamp that can give you that little circle okay so then I also created um, oh I've lost it I've also created a calendar um, with um, a flip over calendar that works with the IKEA frame here and those of you who follow my blog will see that I start every month with the latest uh, calendar and so this is for 2022 and you can see that I've kind of decorated them up so if you subscribe to my my blog you will then um get notified every time i post a a uh, make a post and you'll be able to see at the beginning of each month a close-up of each uh page that i do okay so how i started was it, you need to do some preparation you need to work, find out what day of the month the first is and once you've got all of that then uh once you've got that then it makes it a lot easier now i decided i was going to use my stamparatus um for laying down my first thing which was like the days of the week and i really I, I decided to use my stamparatus because for a start off it meant that i could get them level and that I could then mark up my piece of paper where my card is going to go so when I was doing my calendar that was my that was where I put my piece of card for the calendar and then for my card this was this is my marks here so you can see there's my as long as I put my card up there for the calendar it's going to be in the right place and then down here is what my little piece of card is is so I put my piece of card in first and this particular piece of card is three by two and one and a half an inch and I've set it up so that when I stamp the days of the week they're exactly where I need them to be and they're level and they're centered okay now <clears throat> i'm going to use i am i'm, I'm going to use um basic gray um and i'll explain why in a moment so i'm just going to ink up and then flip over and i'm just going to press gently not too much weight and there i've got my my days of the week in a perfect place then i was going to use my stamparatus 
for my date. <clears throat> so, and I discovered that if you if you did that, it was difficult to ink up. So, I have put this on uh, an acrylic block. So I'm going to remove this and going to place it down here. Now, <clears throat> the real, the clever people at Stampin' Up have actually spaced these numbers so that the day, the seven dates that you need for the week are the width of the ink pad if you use it in this direction. So if I, and I don't know what month I'm doing, I didn't, I didn't work that out before I started talking to you. So if I was going to say when the first of the month for this particular month is Tuesday. So I'm going to line up my number one with Tuesday and uh, I can see that I need to include the 6th and the 5th. Can you see that? So the 6th is here and the 5th is there. And that gives me my 7 days. So that means that I need to put my stamp on the ink so that it just has the 5th. And the sixth, and see if I can bring this up so that you can see. Can you see just the sixth is in the ink here, and just the fifth is in the ink there? So I'm just going to gently tap that to get a little bit of ink on, like that. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to line up my the first of the month with tuesday and just making sure that each of those numbers are level with the dates of days of the week and i'm just going to press down firmly like that and there we have them all lined up now each of the months comes as a separate stamp and I like I've loaded this one. This is January. It's just the first one I've picked up. And then I'm just going to ink it again. And I'm just going to line it up with like the Tuesday and the Wednesday. I'm going to try desperately not to get my head in shot. And if it's if it looks a bit wonky, I apologize. Um, <clears throat> but if you're doing it um, uh, yourself, you're going to line put your head over and line it up. But since this is just a sample. Well, that isn't bad. That is not bad for not being close. And there, there's your piece. And then for this particular card, I layered it onto um, Misty Moonlight. A quarter, it was a quarter of an inch bigger all round. So it gave me an eighth border. <clears throat> I do have a video on how I create the cards with the layered panels. And then... I just created some flowers um, and I've used balmy blue and so I've also used this flowers and leaves punch I used the small flower here and then I wanted a smaller little blossom for the middle and so I used the strawberry builder punch for that and then um, a little um, pearl in each in the center of each and then um, a bow and this I made with white crinkle seam binding which I colored with my stamping blends and I used the light balmy blue for this one here and I also and I have a video on how to do that as well so if you look below this video you'll see a link to my blog and that'll take you to the post that talks about the dimensions for this particular card. And it also gives you links to those other techniques. So uh, a quick look at how I did these other cards. Now, um, January um, has 31 days. And so you can see that you can just use the like the 30, the full 31 days. But 
February has 28 and June and some other months have 30. So how do you deal with that? So this is what I came up with. So I've got I've got one here, which um, is June. And I'm going to try and remember which. So June starts on on a Wednesday. So. You're going to need to clean this off between each go just to make sure the ink doesn't come. And I'm using my my um, Simply Chamois well loved as you can see um but uh, it looks when it comes it looks like this i simply cut mine in four pieces i just find it easier to handle a small piece um uh and although this looks uh pretty uh yucky at this time um i just rinse it out under the running a running tap and it it comes up and it doesn't leave any any color behind it's just it's just got discolored by frequent use so i'm gonna make sure that's dry for a moment now we said that the first of june was on a wednesday so i'm going to look and i'm going to place that wednesday the first and it means that i need to have the fourth and the fifth in my ink so bringing my ink back in so i'm going to line up the fourth and the fifth down here and just bring it up so that you can see that i've got the fourth in the ink and the fifth in the ink but we can also see that it's got the uh 31st but that's fine we're going to do we're going to worry about with uh, not going to worry about that so we're going to bring the ink up and then I'm going to get my chamois and I'm just going to take the ink off of the 31st. And I'm just going to sort of dry it with my finger a second. Like that. And then we're going to go back. So the first is a Wednesday. And we're going to pop that there like that. And there we have the 30th and no 31st and you do exactly the same for February only you would um, take the ink off the 29th 30th and 31st exactly the same way as I said with the chamois um, unless it's of course it's a leap year and then you'll just go ahead and take the 30th and 31st and then you can create um, these really cute calendar pieces well, I hope you found this useful. Uh, as I say, um, it's my way of doing it. And I'm sure that there are others, but I found that this was the one that worked for me. Well, thank you for joining me today. Let me just get this other one up so that you can see. Thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you don't if you don't already do so, and then you'll get to see all the videos that I do. I've got nearly 300 um, there for you as it stands at the moment. So again, thank you for sharing your time with me. Bye for now.